You're watching WKRC-TV, Channel 12, Cincinnati. This is Eyewitness 12 News with anchorman Nick Clooney, weather with Eric Warren, and sports with Don Burroughs. Good evening, everyone. Here's what's happening tonight. This has been a critical election day for many tri-state school districts, as you know. With dwindling state funds, school officials are appealing to the voters to pass tax levies they say are needed to keep essential school services, activities, and even teachers. For one school district, cuts to many student programs have already begun. And a record number of Goshen voters turned out to say whether they wanted to pay more taxes to support their schools. I would as well as Mary Krutko is live in Goshen. She has the results of this controversial levy. Mary? Nick, the Goshen school tax levy has gone down in defeat once again. Here are the figures. Votes for the levy, 1550. Votes against, 1921. Again, 1550, 1921. This has been a very emotional issue for the Goshen people. These levy supporters gathered together for what they hoped would be a victory celebration. But then it was announced that the levy had been defeated. Parents and students broke down in tears. No sports and some people, they're not going to get scholarships or anything to be able to go to school. I'm a teacher's aide at the Mark Primary. I've been here 13 years. This cost me my job tonight. This marks the seventh time a school tax levy has failed in Goshen. The group of property owners which opposed the levy were not celebrating tonight. Bill Ross says he's sorry it's come to this, but says this is a message to the Goshen School Board and administrators. We don't feel that they're using the funds properly, and uh, I think that if, if we want to reunite this community, we've got to realize that no one hates their children, certainly not me or the other property owners in this community. Ralph Shell, superintendent of the Goshen Schools, what's next? Well, the Board of Education has a couple of options. They could uh, place the uh, operating levy back on the ballot. Uh, they could reinstate everything and run the schools till they uh, run out of money and then get a state loan, uh, make further cuts. Uh, these decisions the Board of Education will have to make at their next regular meeting. What's your recommendation? Well, I'm not sure at this point, but uh, I believe that we should consider some reinstatement of some programs because uh, I think the students have suffered enough. Uh, I would be in favor of reinstating uh, in stating the extracurricular activities uh, because those are so crucial to uh, children's uh, education. And the bus transportation? I think that's a decision that the uh, Board of Education will have to take a look at, uh, but uh, we'll just have to reassess that at a later date. Okay. Again, the Goshen school tax levy has gone down in defeat once again. Mary Krutko reporting live from Claremont County. Back to you, Nick. Okay, Mary.